How you going guys? So Electricity has finally made it into the game of Rust and I was pretty keen to get my base decked out as soon as possible. Unfortunately it was a little bit harder than what I thought so I took some time on my test server and watching some YouTube videos to figure out how I'm going to get my lights to turn on when the sun goes down. I think this is going to be the most popular circuit in Rust so I'm going to show you what I found and how I made it so simple that I think anybody would be able to do it. Okay, so head up to your roof and we're going to have to pop down two solar panels. These first solar panels are going to be the solar panels that detect light. These are going to give the signal to your blocker to tell it to turn the lights on. Once you've got them down, place down what's called a root combiner, which is that little red box, and connect your two solar panels to power input 1 and power input 2. Once you've done this, you need to go inside and place down the little blue box, which is a blocker and connect that single power to the side of the blocker, which is called block pass-through. Install your battery and connect the power down to the red terminal of power output. Install your ceiling light and connect the power out of the blue blocker to the ceiling light. Now to charge the battery, we need to install two more solar panels and do them exactly the same way you did the first one. Power output one, power output two, and then we're going to run the output of the combiner down to the opposite side of the battery, which is then going to charge it. Whilst holding the cable out, you can look at the battery and we can see here that the battery is actually charging. Now it's just a matter of going night time and waiting for our lights to come on. Okay, option number two, you wouldn't have these other solar panels done, but you would have the solar panels originally there to detect the light. You install your windmill, which does like four squares to be placed, so just keep that in mind. And you want to run your windmill power output straight across to the inside of your base. Once you're inside, connect your windmill power output directly to the bottom of the blue blocker. And that's it, folks. One blocker, not time lights. It's as easy as that. Now with the windmill, you're able to connect as many lights as you'd like. If you did this with the battery, you would need multiple solar panel and battery setups to be able to power all these lights. But with the windmill, as you can see here, there's about 10 lights and it doesn't struggle at all. When connecting the lights, you can connect through pass through, then power in and continue so on through each light. You would be able to hook these up around different areas of your base or compound. And I think these are a really great addition to the game. Voila. Thanks for watching the video guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.